In this video, I want to go over Pete the Baker problem on Code Wars. And what it states is Pete likes to bake some cakes. He has some recipes and ingredients. Unfortunately, he is not good at math. Can you help him find out how many cakes he could bake considering his recipes? Write a function cakes, which takes in the recipe object and the available ingredients object, and returns the maximum number of cakes Pete can bake, which will be a whole number. Which means we will not be returning, we can bake three and a half cakes, we can bake 6.2 cakes, we have to return one, two, or three or how, any integer for that matter. So let's look down here at some of the examples. This will be our recipe object and our available object, both of which are dictionaries. This reg recipe object is the amount of ingredients and their quantity necessary to bake one cake. So to bake one cake, we need all of this. And for our uh, available dictionary, you can think of this as all the available ingredients that we have in our house. So the problem is, given all these ingredients and their quantities that we have in our house, how many cakes can we bake if we need all this to bake one cake? In order to solve this problem, there's two things we need to do. First, we need to check, this is a key, but first we need to iterate throughout every key and make sure that this key exists in our dictionary. Because if we're missing one of the required ingredients in our house, that means we do not have enough ingredients to cook this cake. Next, we need to look at each of the ingredients, say for sugar, we have enough sugar in our house to bake six cakes, because 200 into 1200 is 600. We have enough eggs in our house, five, to cook five cakes, because to bake one cake, we only need one. But in order to find the, the maximum amount of cakes we can bake, we need to find the minimum amount of cakes we can bake for a given key. So for this key, flour, we only have enough in our house to bake two cakes. So we need to find the minimum key, uh, net, the minimum key, if that makes sense. So, or the minimum value when you divide them. So what we need to do is we're going to create a variable called least and set it equal to float infinity. This is gonna be the variable that finds the least key when you divide a re recipe into available keys. And next, we're going to iterate throughout every uh, key and value in our recipe dictionary. So we're going to say for key value in recipe dot items, this items function returns a tuple, and we're just unpacking it. So key for the first iteration will be flour, and value for the first iteration will be 500. We need to check to see if this key is available in our house or our, or our available dictionary. If it's not, we need to return zero because we can't cook any amount of cakes. So we're going to say if the key from our recipe dictionary is in available dot keys. What this keys function does is it returns a tuple of all the keys in our available dictionary. So our available keys will be flour, sugar, eggs, milk. We're going to check to see if key or flour for the very first iteration is in this um, available dictionary. If it is not, it means we can't cook any cakes, so else we will return zero. If, it does, if that key does exist in our uh, house or our available dictionary, what we need to do is divide the value of that uh, key from our recipe by 500 or by the value that uh, corresponds to the key in our recipe. And then we need to check to see if it's smaller than our least variable. So we're going to say if available key. So we're taking for the first iteration flower and finding the v value for that flower in our avail um, in our available dictionary. So if available key divided by the recipe key is less than least. What we need to do is we need to say least is now equal to available key divided by the recipe key. If this doesn't make sense, what we're doing is for every key in our recipe.item, so for every one of these, let's just say for the first iteration we're on flour, if the flour key is in a is in our available key. So we're just going to check to see if flour is in our available dictionary. It is. So we're going into our this if statement, and then we're going to see if the available key, which is flour, 
and what we're doing is getting 1200. So if 1200 divided by, we're doing a floor divisor because if we did this, this would also return the decimal. If a decimal existed, this, no matter what, say we do uh, four into six, that's 1.5, that will just slash off that 0.5. So it will just return one. But what we're doing is dividing that 1200 by recipe key. So recipe flour is 500, which will give us two. And we're seeing if um, that is less than least for the very first iteration, least will be infinity. So is two less than infinity? Yes, it is. So least is now equal to two. And this least variable will just be the minimum amount when you divide the values by each other. So this will be two, this will be six, this will be five, the least is two. So what we will return is the least. So we will return least. So let me get this up so it's more readable. Okay, so if the key does not exist in our available.keys, we're gonna return zero. However, on the other hand, if they all exist, we're going to iterate throughout every key value in our recipe, find the smallest amount when you divide it into available and return it at the end. So this should work if we attempt this. So yeah, all 56 test cases passed. So that was the Pete the Baker problem on Code Wars. I hope that you found this video valuable and you learned something. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.